Hello, I'm Paul Robin, and this is The Big Ten, the show that's all about you. Let's see what we learn today. Have you ever had a wish come true? I have indeed, yes, indeed, yes. Well, i tell you what it was. If you don't mind. Well, I follow a certain football team called UCD. Oh, yeah. Okay, and many years ago we were going to go down into the, uh, what's called the First Division. Yeah. But against all the odds we beat one of the top teams and we didn't go down. So there's a wish. Oh, yeah. I, I, I did loads of horse riding and I always, I still do, but uh, I always wanted a horse. And then this horse that uh, I really liked came, came on sale and then my parents bought it for me, so. I bought, yeah, I got a horse, so that was nice. Uh, no. No? No. Never? Never. Okay. Not one. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. I don't really think so. Um, I don't know. <laughs> no? No. I don't, I don't really believe in stuff like that, to be honest, so. Uh, yeah. yeah. I got married. Right answer. Yes, I have. Probably not. <laughs> no. Who is your all-time favourite singer, band or musician and why? Well, I think it would be the uh, Yang Yang or Lang Lang, he's called, who plays the piano and having attended live concerts of his, I found that I thought that I was in the presence of somebody like Mozart. Obviously it wasn't Mozart, but it was just a unique experience and being live, of course, brought across a certain a certain reality to the situation. Okay, so my all-time favorite musician or band is uh, the Cronus because they. I when I was younger, I went to a Mary Black gig, and the lead singer from the Cronus is his, is uh, is her son, and that's the first time I was introduced to them, and it was kind of the first band that I saw and I really started to like, and so they're my all-time favorite band, and then because of them, I kind of listen to a lot more music and a lot of different types of music, and I'm into music now, and I play guitar and stuff, so they're my all-time favorite band. <sighs> that's a tough one, I'd say. Oh, I'm not too sure now. Uh, singers would be probably Kanye West. He'd be my favourite singer. Yeah. Well, yeah, just because he's deadly. The Beatles, and it's because ever since I was this high, I can just remember being surrounded by their music as long as I live, like your T-shirt. Well, a few. Dean Martin, Roy Orbison. Tom Jones. My all-time favourite would be Bruce Springsteen. Hope to see him soon in Kilkenny next week. Um, he's just, he doesn't date, just his music goes on and on. That's a tough one. <laughs> well, uh, it's Abbott from Immortal. I think he's very funny. <laughs> and he's also, he rocks. <laughs> Have you ever gotten something you didn't deserve? Did I ever get something I didn't deserve? Well, yes, it, it's happened in my life that, um, and I've been working quite a few years in work, that perceptions are sometimes stronger than reality. So having experienced a situation where somebody would actually uh, take credit for something that you've done yourself, mm -hmm. um, it's not a particularly nice feeling, but you move on with life because life is full of ups and downs and the secret is to uh, just move on. Okay, so my brother punched me in the face one time because um, he was trying to watch TV and I was sitting there and I was talking to someone on the phone and yeah, that, we were younger though so I think it's okay. Thanks, bro. Uh, yeah, a lot. Yeah? Yeah, good few times. I can say them now because yeah. they're a bit, yeah, you know. Yeah, right. But uh, yeah, did. Right, every, oh yeah, plenty of times. I'm sure we all think that. Um, yeah, I think so, definitely. But. Everything happens for a reason, I suppose, so it's how you get through it. Yes. Bad health. No. I've always worked for everything I got. Yes. I have found a lot of money before. Oh, yeah? Yeah. There you go. Do you think some people are born jealous, or does society make them that way? Oh, I definitely don't think society makes them that way. Jealousy is a very complex uh, set of feelings and so on, and I'm not a psychiatrist or a psychologist. But jealousy, I think, sometimes emanates from somebody not feeling very confident in what they're doing, so they can transfer that lack of confidence, I think, sometimes to saying, oh, I'm very jealous of him or her or whatever it is, but um, they just, just sort themselves out, I'd be of that school of thought. I think society definitely makes it that way. It depends on how you're raised. And, but 
the different people have different personalities. Like uh, some people are really giving, and others are notoriously stingy. So that, I know in my group of friends, there's some people who you just don't ask to borrow money off. Some people are just like that. So yeah, but I think society kind of does make them that way because it's kind of how they're raised and how their parents teach them to be. So yeah. Society makes them that way. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'd say so. I don't think anyone's born jealous. Yeah. Definitely not. Um, I think that because of God, this is a, this is a very deep question. I think because people kind of, as they grow up and they realize they can't have certain things and some people have things and then they don't. Uh, it does society make them jealous to a certain extent? Maybe, yes. But I think, I don't know. I think we should all be happy with what we have because at the end of the day, all of this, I don't mean to say all of this means nothing, but we all go out the same way we came in, in a sense, so, you know. Society makes them that way. I think they're born that way. Really? Yes. It's very much the nurture side of our, the argument. Yeah. Or, or, sorry, environment, nature side of it. So that people are not born jealous, I don't think. Have you ever started a physical fight with someone? Never. I haven't indeed. It must be in my genes or something like that. I did play young, uh, in my younger days rugby and so on, and you might have a, a full and fair encounter, but that was all within the rules of, of the game. No, I'm not, I'm not a fighter. Oh yeah, once. <laughs> we, uh, no, just with me mate once, you know, crossed the line, so. Oh, I've gone away from Mason. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No. No. I don't believe in violence. Yes. Well, well, I wouldn't say started, but I would never back down. Never. No. I've never been in a fight. Have you ever wanted to tell someone something, but were afraid of their reaction? Yes, I have indeed, in the interaction with people over the years, and I stress it be you wanted to tell them something for their own good, of whatever stage they were at their lives, or whatever it is, they just couldn't take it on board, and that's fair enough, we all make decisions in life. Oh yeah, God, all the time. Like when your friends are doing something, you're just like, I don't know whether to start this, because then it'll just get really awkward, so yeah, that's kind of a big issue when you're a teenager. Yeah, I think so. Uh, yeah, I can't really remember, but yeah, I think that happened once. Yeah, it did, yeah. Yeah, plenty of times. I used to be really, really afraid of confrontation. Not so much anymore. Um, I don't feel there's anything to gain from not being straight with someone. Yes. Females. <laughs> it happens a lot, I must say, it happens. Yeah. All right. Always, all the time. Really? Yes. Yes, but I think I struggled through and told them anyway, in the best possible way. If you could change one thing about the planet, what would it be? Well, I, I, I think it would be the whole element of waste. Um, I've seen, I haven't been in the middle of the Pacific Ocean, but I've seen photos taken from on high about the swirling of plastic going around the middle of the Pacific. And you just say to yourself, oh my God, what's going on here? And you can also see it on some of our beaches, not necessarily thrown by people who are on the beach, but it is just coming ashore. And then a, a physicist or a scientist will tell you that, in fact, that'll take 400 years to degenerate if they throw it into. But certainly, yes, that, that would be waste is one of the things that I would be very strong on. I'd make the weather less unpredictable. Yeah. Because sometimes you're out and you're wearing something and then it just starts lashing rain. You're like, well, I don't have an umbrella because it was sunny a minute ago. So, yeah, I'd make the weather less unpredictable. Oh, Jesus, I don't know. Starvation in all countries, that would be it. Probably... People being so close-minded about a lot of things, yeah. definitely. I'd rather people be a lot more open-minded when it came to race, religion, whatever, you know. For me to become the Prime Minister of the world. I'd change the weather in Ireland. Really? <laughs> the abuse of people eating meat, I would say, probably. I'm not a vegetarian, but I think that too many people eat too much meat. What is the biggest mistake you have ever made? Well, the biggest mistake I ever made was that I worked too hard when my family were growing up. I didn't spend enough time with them. But of course you were generating a good income and so it wasn't without its advantages or whatever it is. But those are precious years when uh, your family are growing up that no money will actually pay for it. So I, I would say yes, I, I regret 
uh, being caught up in that many moons ago, I should say to you. Oh, OK. So I tried to play soccer at one stage of my life and I'm a real ga player. I got to play camogie in Gaelic and soccer just did not suit me. And I got hit in the face with a ball like the day I got my braces. It was really funny, but at the same time, it really hurt. So that was probably the biggest mistake I made was joining a soccer team. Oh, Jesus, I don't know. Maybe going to the wrong school. <laughs> that would be it. I don't know. Uh, I know I've made plenty of mistakes, but I've learned from them, so I don't know if I'd really call them huge mistakes. I don't like carry stuff around with me a lot. I tend not to do that, so I don't really know if I can think of one, to be honest with you. Gotta think about that one. Yeah, uh, being roped in, being naive by other people, because I was too generous. Is that okay? This is a very difficult one. I haven't made any. I say I've made several small ones, but no, no major ones. Dropping out of school, probably. <laughs> yeah. Have you ever found yourself being jealous of any of your friends? No, I don't do jealousy, and I don't know whether it's in my genes or whatever it is. I've seen people being jealous, but no, I wouldn't. I, I take things as they come and it has served me very, very well. So some people I know have won money or they've been left inheritances or whatever is my view is best of luck to you. You know, I haven't got any, it didn't come my way. But that reminds me, maybe tonight I might actually do the lotto. Yeah, because some friends got like really nice clothes or, and stuff like that. And you're like, yeah, I want them clothes, but I can't afford them. So yeah, obviously, yeah, everyone gets jealous. No, no, I actually haven't. They're not that great. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to the house there. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm only human. Not my friends, but I've been possessive of girls that I was associated with when they let me down. No. Yes. My, the, the guy who plays in our band, Chris, he's very good at play, playing guitar, and I got jealous of him. <laughs> but it's uh, a friendly jealous, <laughs> yeah. friendly jealous jealousy. <laughs> what, in your opinion, is the ultimate point to existence? Well, the ultimate point in existence is that you can do good for those others who you mix with and by doing good to others, whatever that means to different people, it doesn't necessarily mean giving away money because if you don't have it, you can't give it away. But the very fact that the three of us are talking here today actually makes me feel good and I wish the two of you the best of luck in your own careers in the future and hopefully we, our paths mightn't cross again, but here we are talking today. That's good. This is part of existence as far as I'm concerned. I think to make the most of what you have and because I don't, I don't think I think I'm not very money driven like when I'm I, I don't want to do a job that is just because of money I want to be happy in my life so I think just to be happy in what you're doing all the time and not just be just making lots of money and not be happy it's things like that so just be happy in what who you are mm, I'm not too sure of that one actually yeah uh, no I couldn't tell you really I left her an easy one didn't I yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, the ultimate point to existence is to have fun while you're here. Happiness. There's a lot of people unhappy and it's due to corruption. No need for it. It's all over the world. Corrupt politicians. Why go to war? Why do we need to go to war? No need for it. Just, um to love and be loved. Being yourself and having ultimate confidence in yourself and not caring what other people think about you. Well, that about does it for this series of The Big Ten. I'd like to sincerely thank everyone who took the time to stop and speak to me over the last two months. I'm Paul Robin reminding you that life's a chess game, so make the right moves.